Hot point wiggle 8640p Aquarius all lights flashing when it gets to the spin cycle. Often happens but normally works after switch off slash switch on and putting to spin and drain. All waste pipes and button trap checked cleaned and okay. Board fault possibly. Can you guesstimate how old your hot point is? And just to clarify, what's the exact model? Nearly three years. Bull 8640p Aquarius washer dryer. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yes, I normally do. Anything else we should know to help you best? Machine is level. Water pressure is good. No faults until a month ago. Fault does not always happen. Fault appears to happen on different programs. Cleaning cycles have not fixed the problem. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to Just Answer. I'm reviewing your question now and will post back with your reply momentarily. When them lights start to flash look at the row of vertical lights on the far right hand side which is the cycle phase lights. You need to number them from the bottom upwards with one at the bottom which is the door lock light. Let me know which lights are lit solid when the others are flashing. Hi Daniel. I think that the door locked light, 1, was on in the drying light, 3, was on last time. I think I may have also seen the door locked light, 1, and spin light, 4, on 2. I will run another wash and record which lights are on. The machine failed again with the four lights flashing. The door locked light, 1, and the drying light, 3, were on. The door can be opened and the washing is wet. The start slash pause button light is flashing. The machine did not rinse and did not spin or drain. It went straight from the washing cycle to the fault mode with the drying light on. Thanks for that. If you have lights 1 and 3 then this is error code F05 which is a draining fault. Now when this error code comes up is it full of water? If so then it's going to be a faulty pump I'm afraid if there is no blockages in there. But if there is no water in there when the error code comes up then it's possibly the pressure switch at here which is the blue switch on the top on the right hand side and it will have a thin tube going to it. So check them and see what you find as if it stops full of water it's a pump fault but if not then it's looking like the pressure switch. Thanks Daniel. Sorry about the delay, no power or internet for 4 hours due to electricity supply off. There was no water in the machine when the fault occurred. Why does the washing cycle miss out the rinse and spin and go straight from wash to the fault with the drying light on? The pump works fine. When the fault lights are reset the machine will spin and drain okay and go to end with a green light. I can hear the pump running and see it draining the water from the drum, it sound normal. Why would the pressure switch stop the rinse and spin during the wash cycle but be okay with a spin and drain? Can I check the pressure switch with a meter? I am an automotive electrical engineer and used to working with live mains equipment too. I can check that the tube is clear. Modern washers don't work when they pick up a fault. If the washer picks up a fault during the wash then it stops and give the error code by the flashing lights. They don't carry on through the cycle anymore like the older ones did. So that's why it's not doing the rinse and spin as it's picking up a fault so it just stops as soon as it picks up the fault. 
As for testing the pressure switch with a meter I'm afraid you cannot do it with these modern ones as well as they are sensors so doesn't actually switch over like the old ones did. It reads frequencies and sends the signals back to the control board. You can check the rubber tube going to the hose for blockages or splits. When it stops and flashes is it still the door lock light and the dry light that's lit solid? It is the same two fault lights, door locked and dryer, every time. I understand the problem with testing the sensor, thanks. Without the spec and the right equipment it is a waste of time. What does the pressure switch sense? Back pressure in the waste outlet. Pressure drop due to the flow. If checking and cleaning the rubber pipe does not work is there anything else to check or clear? I presume after that it is time to fit a new pressure sensor and hope it works. Okay if it's still the same lights then it's FO5 error code which is a draining issue. How the pressure switches as the water enters the washer the water pushes air from the drum to the pressure switch through that hose. As as the air pushes up that hose the frequency of the switch changes so once the board picks up the correct reading from it that's when it knows to reach enough water in there and stops the filling. Then as it drains the air is released from the switch and again the frequency changes and then the control board picks up the water has left. Now what can happen as the water leaves and the air releases the frequency doesn't change so the control board thinks to reach water in there when there is so then stops and gives the error code as it thinks it cannot drain the water out. Thanks, understand what the issue could be and how the sensor works. It is a pressure transducer similar to the ones that we use on DPFs, diesel particulate filters, in the vehicle exhaust to measure the buildup of set. I will check for blockages or pipe problems first and clean any debris out. If that does not work then time to try a new pressure sensor. If it's not a blocked hose then I'm afraid you will need to try a new sensor on this. The pressure sensor hose was clean and dry and not blocked, I blew down the pipe. The bottom end was clean too, I removed the pipe and probed with a wire. The pump is only pumping water out slowly because the drum is draining very slowly. It seems that the pressure sensor is doing its job okay. The machine will spin and pump out okay too but it takes about 3 cycles to do it. I ran the machine briefly with the button trap open and saw the pump running properly. I cannot see any blockage in the drum outlet pipe. I ran a cleaner through the machine and did a 90 degree wash but nothing has cleared it. Any ideas? Can I back flush the outlet? I tried probing with a wire but did not find a blockage. I am pulling my hair out. Okay if the washer is draining the water out slowly then it's going to be a blocked sump hose. Get the water out of the washer and then lie it on its back and from there you will see the black hose going from the tank to the pump. Remove the hose from the tank end and see if there is anything blocked in there as if the pump is clear then the blockage will be in that sump hose. Check that and see what you find from there. After I removed my wife's knickers things improved considerably. We both had a good laugh too. The sump hose was indeed blocked at the top as you had suspected. I imagine that you have many interesting stories about washing machine faults. Many thanks for your help and advice. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.